So there are 45 countries in the world that impose severe restrictions on the right to marry of their citizens. Israel is the only and one democracy in the world that falls into that category. The neighborhood we are in is not a particularly enviable one. Because the reality today is, whether we want to acknowledge it or not, will not change the facts. The majority of the next generation of American Jewry would not be eligible to legally marry in Israel. And I come here, most importantly, as a halakhically committed Jew, Jewish woman, and as an expert in Jewish law. And based on all these uh, factual, personal backgrounds, I uh, emphasize that the lack of civil marriages and divorce in Israel are indeed a shame on Israel's democracy. But the shame of democracy here is not only because so many of us cannot marry in Israel, which is really the greatest human rights violation. The stain and the shame comes from the fact that this is the most blatant, formal violation of gender equality, of discrimination against women in Israel. I agree wholeheartedly that the way to work is to introduce civil marriages and divorce in Israel. Ariel and I live a Jewish life. We keep Shabbat, we keep Roshon Kashrut. We we identify and are very engaged with the Jewish people, not just within Israel, but within the world. We come from abroad and we are here now. And therefore, this issue is central to us and in in our lives and the lives of our daughter, who is now considered Jewish by the Rabbanut. And, we, and I don't believe, both of us don't believe that the system that says that we do not belong is legitimate. I'm Jewish, and no one can tell me whether or not I am. My mother was Jewish when I was born. maybe they should be used more. We all have to improve. There's no question the Rabbanut has to improve. On the table nowadays in Israel, there are many proposals regarding partnership, common life, uh, uh, as they call, common, common law marriage, all sorts of arrangements um, in order to solve this problem. But there is only one true solution to this problem, to this unbelievable problem we have in Israel, and this is an alternative civil marriage. And, and while American Jews have been kind of running after the red flag of one issue or another in terms of lobbying, in terms of issues, the state of Israel has been consistently taking away your rights to be part of this country. You have been blindsided by an ongoing political push to sell your rights down the river. And unfortunately, we, I'm now bringing myself into this because before I came here didn't realize this, we have been robbed of our rights and have done nothing while it has happened. Now, this is of extreme importance for you as well. If we manage, with your help of the Jewish diaspora, with the non-Orthodox Jewish denominations, with other religious groups in Israel, with activists, with human rights activists, with women, with gay people, with the gay movement, to form a new arrangement of an alternative, equal, civil marriage, then this would be a great revolution in Israel. This would influence directly on the lives of hundreds of thousands of Israelis. So we wanted to present this issue and all of its complexities at this year's GA, not only because it is a matter of growing concern in it to Israelis, but also because it involves issues of Aliyah, of Hasbaba, and even of national security in a world that increasingly, increasingly feels less of an affinity with Israel. Believe in your ability to effect change. You have shown that when you cared, you could effect change both on the Israeli scene and the international scene. The last thing you should do is what happened last week in Jerusalem. Over a hundred Jewish leaders and professionals came together to discuss the Prime Minister Netanyahu's initiative for bonding the next generation with Israel. Not one spoke up about the fact that if the majority of that next generation is not going to be able to enjoy equal legal rights in Israel, all these efforts are going to be for naught. So speak up. The worst thing that you can do is retreat to silence.